Hello, in this video we will see how we can create a database in cPanel and link that database to our Laravel website. Okay, so to demonstrate this uh, functionality, first of all we need to create a database in the cPanel. So first of all I will go to the cPanel, the available cPanel of this website and uh, go to the database section here you can see the database section mysql databases after cl clicking on this particular option after clicking on, clicking on this particular option you will see the mysql databases option will open up here you can op create a new database as per your requirement let me open a notepad file for uh, rough work here i will collect all the data the database name i will put here so the database name will be uh, new test okay i will put the database name here okay i will create the database and you can see there is a method pop up on the screen that tell us uh, the database that is created okay because when we create database in the cpanel the cpanel username automatically prefix to the database name okay so we have to take care of that otherwise we will see and uh, we will face some problem in the future okay so after creating the database the second step we need to do is uh, creating a user for that particular database okay to create a user we need to scroll down a little bit to the mysql user section okay here we need to create a user for this particular database okay so for the user, I will take the user 1 as an example, I will create a user with this name, okay. As you can see, as like the database, uh, as like the creation of the database, we get the prefix uh, with the database name, we also get the prefix with the username also, with the username also, okay. So we take the username. And uh, so in the uh, and in the end we will get the user uh, named as this. Okay, the username of the cPanel. After that, the suffix we uh, we decided here. Okay, and after that we need to decide the password of this particular user. So we have to take care of that. It this password is belong to this particular user, not that particular database. Okay, so we will create a username and the password for this username. I will just generate a password from here and copy this password for the future use. Click on this here and use password. After this, after this, we need to create. We need to click on create user. As you can see, you have uh, you get a pop up on the screen like you have successfully created a MySQL user named this. We just need to copy it and to ensure that it's the same. Okay after that you we can click on go back okay so here the two steps is done that is creating the database and creating the user but there is also a third step that needs to be done is linking that that particular database to that particular user that we have created to done this step we need to scroll down to the end of this page and you can see the the section add user to database section okay here we need to click we need to select the user that we just created right now okay so this is the user we have created right now and the database that we need to use this is the one okay so we are going to link that user to this, this particular database and click on add after clicking on add you will see a bunch of options like uh, uh, like alter create and basically these are these or uh, these are types of the operations that we can perform on a particular database okay so what we need to do we just need to click on all privileges here okay or you can select the particular privilege you want to assign to that user for that particular database and click on make changes as you can see you can get a success message that you saved uh, you save this particular user privilege on the database this now this particular user that we have created is now have access to this particular database with all the privilege we have set just now okay uh, to ensure this uh, uh, we have done the privilege thing pretty uh, perfectly 
you can just uh, see this list that this current database is and along with that you can see the privileged user option here okay you can see this particular database now privileged with this particular user now the next step that is we are going to cover today is use this particular database with our laravel application first of all we we will go to the home page of the cpanel and click on the php my admin to see the if the database appearing or not as you can see this is the database we just created now this is the empty database right now and uh, we can use this database for with our laravel application so to link this uh, database with our laravel application what we need to do we just uh, go to the go to the cpanel okay and navigate to the exact folder where our laravel project belongs to okay so this is the particular uh, folder where this particular laravel project belongs to as of right now okay so to confirm this i will just go to the resources views and in the view file i just uh, i will just make few changes to see if it is reflected or not i just make a few text changes and if we if we reload the page and click on view source you can see the changes reflect the changes is reflected here okay so i will just revert it back as you can see it's disappeared okay so this is the file so this is the laravel project we are going to use what we need to do we just need to uh, scroll down a little bit and find the env file if, if it is visible just click on the settings here and check on show hidden files options here after that you will able to see the env file and after uh, you can find this file you just click on edit here and after uh, clicking on edit you can find the variable like this db database here db username and db, db password here, okay so here you need to put the exact details that we have created just now we just ensure that we just need to ensure that in the database name we put the database in the user we put the username here and in the password we just put the password here after uh, after putting uh, in, in this in this way we also need to ensure that it's uh, working perfectly okay we just click on save changes one more thing you can do uh, to ensure it's working you just need to put the password in the course as, as like this username as like this and database as like this okay so just in case just in case it is if it is not working for you you can try this also just put the all these things in the course and just click on save changes after that your laravel project is now perfectly linked up with the database okay you can now uh, create the models and uh, fetch data from the tables to the laravel application and blade files okay so this is how we can create the C database in the cpanel and link that to the uh, laravel application so hope this video help you out and if you have any questions then let me know in the comment section i will be happy to help you out thank you Oh, 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 oh,